Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to delete a course that's undeletable, and that's happened to me. I've had courses that I couldn't delete from Moodle because they were old, and I kept uh, upgrading the system. For lots of reasons, you may find yourself stuck with a course that you just can't delete. So let's take a look at this one, which is right here. Notice I'm on course category as the admin. This is only for admins. Managers can't do these things. So let's go into this course. Before I go into the course, let's try to delete it just to show you what I encounter when I try this. All right, so I'm going to go into delete. Now I'll get a lot of stuff here. There we go. Exception, class backup, Skype. Okay, um, task not found. All right, so let's go back and try to deal with this. All right, so we're going to go back to manage this um, category. So what do I do? First of all, I go into the settings of the course, and I'm using Advisor in case you're curious about what I'm using here. And then I'm going to go into, notice here, is the editor and over here on the left is the settings so open the settings and I'm um, first of all I go into reset that's how I do it so I'm going to reset the course and notice what I do with the reset I just delete everything everything try to delete as much as possible delete the roles go into more Okay, I'm not going to show you all of this, but the idea is to delete everything. You notice these are causing problems here, okay, particularly Skypes. All right, so let's go into Reset Course at the bottom here and wait a few seconds. As I always say, patience is very important at such times. Either it's going to work or not, so it's not going to make any difference. No need to be patient. So notice again, uh, I cannot reset these. Okay, and that is going to be problematic. Okay, I can't delete them because they don't exist. Continue. Okay, so this is the course. Next, I'm going to go back into the settings because I'm going to restore it. Okay, click on Restore. Okay, now I'm going to take a course from somewhere else happens to be a uh, 3.10 but that's not going to make a difference that's not the problem okay and wait for it to come I'm going to click on restore over here okay you just follow it no hassle click on restore and then uh, notice I have to get to the end here complete I'm going to scroll down until I get to the bottom over here so that's with continue all right and notice what i'm going to do now okay let's scroll down and uh, notice there are too many re results after more specific research okay now here i'm going to delete the contents of this course and then restore including what's not available anymore all right so let's uh now i'm going to do say i don't want anything in that course so basically i'm restoring it to nothing eliminating everything okay so there we go it's sections there are a few sections here there are at least five and then there is a section for the certificate at the very end okay so there is five that's the layout of the course with reflections and then the certificate. All right, so next I'm going to go next. Now I'm going to, I've got one more step there. I'm going to scroll down to the very end and um, perform the restore. And then it tells me, of course, that I'm on 3.92. And the course that I'm adding is 3.10. As I said at the beginning, this is not a problem. I've done this a few times. Today, I got uh, this extra energy to get rid of these courses that I haven't been able to get rid of for the past couple of years, some of them. And that's really annoying. 
You can always reuse the course if you can't delete it. Okay, so the course was restored. Yay! Another should be nothing. Okay, there's nothing. So that makes it easier to delete when there's nothing there. So notice this is the name of the course. I'm going to go into uh, Site Administration, cross my fingers, and um, go into Courses, Manage Courses, find this course over here, and oops, go to the Delete and pray that it'll be deleted. And that's how it's done, folks. It took me years to figure it out. So easy. So the process is to reset and then get rid of all the users and everything. So you have less there. And then you want to get rid of the activities. So you restore and you leave everything out. And then you just, um, and that's it. Everything is set. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box and subscribe to my channel.